well, it's been a hell of a week. For anyone not following the Star Mazer slash Alex Maurer situation, uh, about this time last week, I got a false DMCA claim by an angry music composer on the Star Mazer DSP um, team. And uh, I've never really seen anything quite like this. Um, I won't bother covering all of it, but basically the uh, um, artist in question became increasingly belligerent, uh, began sending death threats around, and she is now in custody, um, courtesy of, well, I'm not exactly sure what happened, didn't really ask out of privacy's sake, but um, the attorney that is suing her on behalf of Imigo Softworks, the company she has a dispute with, which is completely unrelated to me, by the way. I just happened to play a game that they made. And, um... Anyway, I'm not exactly sure if she's in custody of her own free will or if, um... She was collected by authorities, but she had been sending death threats, uh, increasing in number and ferocity. Fortunately... I never thought I'd be saying this, but fortunately, I did not personally receive any death threats yet. Um, but the long and short is, due to the DMCA claim, I still cannot stream for, um, until July 14th, I believe it expires, possibly the 13th. Um, they give you 10 business days to recant the, uh, or they give you 10 business days to prove that you're, they're suing you if you counter a DMCA claim. They have to legally, they have to be able to prove that, yeah... This guy is in violation, and I'm suing him, so you got to keep the video down. Um, I'm obviously not afraid that she's going to sue me, but she's in custody and probably doesn't really care either way. Um, so I'm just going to have to wait for that to expire, I guess. And so I just can't live stream, because it happens that whichever way you, like, say, if you were streaming when you got a DMCA strike, it limits your ability to stream. Actually, it completely removes it on YouTube. Uh, temporarily until the strike expires. Uh, I think you have upload restrictions if you got hit by an upload, so in a way I guess I'm glad that it was a stream because that interrupts me slightly less because I tend to upload more. But the long and short of it is I can't stream for two weeks. Um, I considered moving over to Twitch, which is what I was going to do if the strike lasted 90 days. If if I were to accept the strike, which it is, it is not, it's an illegal strike, um, so I absolutely refuse. That's right, Parker. I refuse to uh, let it sit there for the full 90 days. Um, I am not very happy with YouTube for not removing the strike. Um, I did have to give my real physical address to a person who is currently um, presumably in a psychiatric ward for threatening people with murder. Um, I really hope she doesn't actually check that information. Um, I'm... Really not happy with YouTube about this. It's not entirely their fault, but um, they could certainly have handled it much, much better than they have. Um, Total Biscuit kind of helped us out. He talked to the YouTube gaming team. They advanced. They kind of like, oops, sorry, Parker. Um, they um, so there's two parts of countering a DMCA claim. First, you have to submit a thing to YouTube. YouTube says, okay, this is on the up and up. We're gonna forward this to the, uh, the claimant, and they're going to have to either sue you or they're going to have to back off, and that's the 14 days thing. Um, I All I know, all I've heard is from the lawyer said that she is getting help vaguely, which I assume means psych ward, and um, that she won't be pursuing the DMCA claims, which I kind of figured anyway. She would have to sue. She went after at least 70 YouTubers, and she started going after even more. Um, she would legally have to sue all of us in court um, to keep all of those videos down. That wasn't going to happen, but um, this has been a very unpleasant situation all around. Um, never really thought I would be happy to deal with this. That's right, Parker. That's right. So, I will be streaming in about two weeks again. Um, this is a really annoying timing because I had a bunch of shoot-em-ups that I wanted to stream because... 
in my opinion, they, they fit more for a stream game than for VOD, because I, I have less performance anxiety that way. I feel like with streams, I'm just kind of shooting the crap and, you know, talking with people. It's okay if I mess up, but with, like, just a single uploaded playthrough, I, I feel, like, this need for it to be flawless, even when, like... I've uploaded playthroughs I think are complete garbage. People are like, oh wow, how, you did so great. It's like, there's a distant, there's a big difference between being a shoot 'em up player. Also, you know, anytime you are the one who screwed up, you know, it always feels worse once you. Anyway, I just like to stream those, and now I can't. I wanted to play Drifting Lands, Death Smiles. Um, I wanted to play some more Neko Navy. Um, that's a really fun one, by the way. Very chill um, shoot 'em up, and very good difficulty options. If you, um, it's pretty accessible. I would definitely recommend Neko Navy for experienced or beginner shoot, shoot 'em up players. Very good game. Um, I do have a video of Neko Navy already, but I'll probably stream that later. Drifting Lands, <laughs> the pub's kind of complaining at me for not doing um, a video yet on it, but uh, the the PR people, that's just, that's their job. You know, they give you the game. They uh, they expect coverage, and they'll you know if you don't send back coverage, they'll be like, well, what are you doing? Anyway, um, don't know what I'll do with all of that. Probably most of it I'll just have to wait on. Uh, by the way, I wanted to... Ugh, I don't want to talk about this whole deal. It's so stupid and there's so much bullcrap going on about it. The whole Alex Maurer situation. Um, it's unpleasant. But one thing I keep seeing people... Um, I, I'm a very passionate person. And I really don't appreciate people spreading false info. Um, taking sides in issues they clearly don't understand in the slightest. Guess who hit the stop recording button with his big fuzzy butt? Yes, it was Parker. Ahem, <clears throat> what's I saying? Anyway, this whole situation saw the recurrence of something I haven't really heard outside of NeoGAF very often. I'm not sure what's at the, in the water at NeoGAF, but it kind of feels like a time portal back to 2006 in the least pleasant way possible. Um... But because of this whole situation, I haven't seen pe seeing people be like, oh, well, they're YouTubers. They're operating in a legal gray area anyway. They should have known better before playing a video game and putting gaming videos on the internet, which is illegal by every international law ever. Yeah. It's not, it's not how it works. Um, in this specific case, and in literally hundreds of other cases, I was approached by the publisher of the game, specifically so I would play their game on YouTube. This is not rare. This is literally, I get dozens of emails like this every day. I'm not even big. I won't even pretend that I am a huge YouTube man and everybody wants me to play their game because I'm going to get a billion views per second. No. People want you to cover their games. Game devs want you to cover their games so much. They come to me with game keys and they say, please, Play a freaking video of my game. You don't have to like it. You don't have to say whatever. You're not freaking... Th these aren't paid reviews. This is just here is a key. Please cover my game. Please. My children. They are hungry. Um, and it does happen sometimes that, you know, they'll pay, you know... People like PewDiePie, they get paid to cover games. Uh, this is not a legal gray area. Like, the YouTube has a whole gaming section on the site now. YouTube gaming, a lot of people don't know it exists because they've been a little bit poor at promoting it, and it's kind of weird, honestly, but that's a different topic. Anyway, making YouTube game videos is not, like, piracy. It's not like I don't freaking put on my eye patch, grab a cutlass, and, you know, ye mateys on the high sea, we're going to play video games. No. This is not controversial. This is not unusual. People ask me to play their games. Um, it's just part of the media. We are part of the gaming media at this point. There's, there's no gray areas here. There's no... We're not stealing music from video games. Because we play video games on the intertubes. No. That's just idiocy. And I'm so sick of hearing it. I, uh, I can't believe people are just freaking idiots. I'm disgusted. Not as disgusted as the person that was sending death threats, but uh, as a secondary factor, that has been a little extra irritation in a particularly disgusting and pathetic week. That's right, Parker. It's disgusting. <laughs> Did you hear him? That was a feisty 
noise. Anyway, that's pretty much what I have to say. Can't stream for a couple weeks because of death threat idiot. Um, I did not get death threats. I I am safe. I I conferred with um with the lawyer who received the death threats. He is he's safe. Um, we think long term everything's gonna work out. The legal dispute appears to have finally narrowed back down to the two parties that are actually in the dispute, which, by the way, is how legal proceedings are always supposed to go. Um, also, read your goddamn contracts, people. Just, this is absolutely no excuse for it. If you can't understand a contract, don't sign it. There's absolutely no other way to go. If you need a contract revised, talk to whoever's offering the contract. Get a lawyer if you think it's worth it. But if you can't complete the terms of the contract... Don't sign it. If you do sign it, you're bound by whatever's in there, good or bad. I can't believe I can't believe that somebody was too dumb to read a contract and it caused all of this. It's uh, <sighs> I'm so tired of this. But like I said, theoretically it's over. I wish YouTube would just remove the strikes. They are not from a person of sound mind. They are not legally valid in any capacity youtube would be very free to just remove all of them but doesn't look like it's gonna happen so i can't stream i'm not gonna move to twitch for like i i'm not gonna move to twitch for just two weeks that's stupid i'll just wait i'll catch up on some other games i'll do some vod's whatever i guess that's it I almost did a video, or I was going to post an article of sort of a timeline, because during this whole thing, people keep asking, like, oh, well, what's what's going on? Or people would get the wrong idea, and it was it was complicated. It moved quickly, but uh, I never want to have to talk about it ever again. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this will be pretty much the last time I do. Anyway, thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for following. If you're one of the new people that followed me because of this whole drama, thank you for following. I hope you enjoyed my videos that are not about drama. If you can't tell from the tone of my voice, I don't particularly enjoy drama. And even with the new followers, I was not going to continue participating in the drama at a high level. Because I just hate this crap. I can't believe there's YouTubers that just post about drama every single week and they're just like, Wow, Jim Bob Cletus was doing the thing. How dare he? I'm challenging him to a death battle with fidget spinners this weekend. You know, whatever. I don't I don't even I don't even follow the drama YouTube enough to properly insult it, but uh yeah. That's not where you can find on this channel. I just want to show you cool games. So hopefully we're back to the cool games part and not the stupid legal idiot crap which is not why i joined youtube anyway thanks for watching